Hello, fun. it's Animation 4. Welcome back to some more Omnifact. We're going to start off by pulverizing one of the most valuable resources we have. A bunch of tungsten steel. Because we're going to make stuff out of it. Specifically, we're going to make some HSSG. Which is tungsten steel, chrome, vanadium, and molybdenum. It's a big word. Uh, and I should have enough to make at least two stacks of it. It does need to be blast furnace sized, 441 seconds base. Um, we still have Signalum going in there. Let's, let's just upgrade this to more power. <laughs> That's really all I can do here. Um, yeah. Because otherwise it's going to take forever. It's faster than Signalum, technically. Like, this is 441, and Signalum is 640 as a base time. But even Signalum is really slow. So, tier 5 power going into this. All right. Pop this, pop this. IV, no, not the CEF there. IV input hatch next to an IV CEF, which is going to need <coughs> more power connections on the side to give it this much juice. Yeah. It's, uh, 16384. All right. How long does Signalum take now? Much faster, actually. That's like a good 2.5 to 3 times. If it was a straight overclock, it'd be 4 times. But it's not quite 4 times. But it's definitely much faster. I'm sure our power situation is loving this. Yeah. That's why I have a big power bank. All right, so it's just about done with the 5th. We're using more power than regenerating still. So we are about 20 million RF down. I want to see how fast it's going to refill once this is done. So theoretically, this is take this is consuming like 40-something K. Uh, so we're going back up at 10K, 11K, about 10K. That is manageable. Oh, 15K. Yeah, with a max E... Oh, E per tick. RF, yeah. So that can consume a lot of power. <laughs> Let's just go with a lot. And now, HSSG at a fairly reasonable speed. But two stacks worth. Quite some time later, two stacks of high-speed steel... Type G. H-S-S-G. Um, I did it in groups 32. I also ex While it was going, I also expanded storage and did some random other stuff. But with this thrown into a wire mill, we can now upgrade our blast furnace for H-S-S-G coils. H-S-S-G coil blocks for a heat of 5,400. Not sure what that gets, but, you know, it's a step. It gets, it gets naquada. That's a thing. Um, I guess the question comes down to what do we work on now? What's our next goal? I don't really have one. <laughs> um, the tier 3 micro miner. Could we skip that? Let's see. It's tier 3. You get gems or with a quantum chest, which actually we can make that. You can get she light, she light, she light, tongue slate, slung slate, slate, slate utile, vanadium. I mean, it's a good amount of stuff, but I can get that with tier twos and stuff. And maybe we'll just maybe we'll just skip that one. I don't I I don't want to. <laughs> we do need to make an empower at some point. So that's noted. But I think we can just go to tier 4. Signalum heavy plating. 
elite crafting table, medium projector. So we need the better compressor for the signal and plating. Uh, we need to upgrade our crafting table to the elite extended crafting table and then get a better microverse projector. Checklist. This thing was so cheap. Why did I not make this before? Like, you do that, you grab a crafting table, you do that, you make four of these, and then you throw it into here. It's this, a ring, four corners, diagonals, like, that was nothing. That was nothing. I need to duplicate a little bit just in case you somehow lose it. I don't know. I don't know why I never made that yet. That was so cheap. Yeah, it, it blends in with the blue. Bigger crafting. Nice and easy there. Now we're on to this. I mean, nothing here looks that hard, honestly. It's just going to take up space. This one was nice and small. This next one um, is, I believe, a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a 5x5. Five five. It's not this one. It's not the big one yet. But it's still a 5x5. Five five, so we need a place to put that. That thing is churning. And we got to go from this nice, gorgeous, deep blue to this, like, gross green. Like, it's okay, but it, it's too close to, like, a pukish green. Better than I was expecting. I was expecting pu more puke green, but still, I, I, I like, I like my, my deep purple. 26 blocks of diamond. That's a lot of diamonds. I have that many diamonds. Specifically, I think it's 26 blocks of diamond chiseled purple space. Like this. Ooh, fancy. So I was going to use this wither data module to get some of this pristine wither matter to get some wither realm data. Because, you know, you can fabricate it there. Uh, you can also craft it, apparently. We have a, so much of this matter. And this is just... Yeah, that's that's much easier. Uh, we're going to do that. There's some impossible realm data. Here we go. we got a stack of that. Um... <laughs> And then uh, some Wither Realm data. Here we go. We got a stack of that. <laughs> Easy. And this is used in the projector. So the next thing to do is figure out what exactly we're going to do with this projector. I got all the pieces. They're in this pouch right here. I need to decide where to put it and how we're going to connect up to it and use it efficiently. Uh, we have the small one there, and that was kind of just a, I need to put it somewhere, so I'm going to put it here. I want to actually find a, a home for this one. So looking around and trying to figure out what to do, I really like what we did with this. This looks really cool because it's very open and visual, and you can see kind of everything that's going on uh, from a distance. Uh, this one's not bad, this uh, initial generate this initial um uh pff, ethanol fuel power station thing is pretty good it's very open also uh, and then you look at like the tree farm area and it's kind of hard to really see what's going on there there are massive like distillation towers in here but you can only really see them when you're inside it's not it's not super visible 
same for this like we have a ton of big old steam boilers in there but you can't really see them so i'm gonna try to customize one of these buildings a little bit make it a little bit more open and visual and what better than one right here so i think this is the building we're gonna go with i haven't looked at the basement actually actually is there a basement i think there is and i just covered it up yeah because it's it's a mess um we're gonna have to clean this basement up oh wow it's really deep basement all the way down here um my idea is we're going to take the top two floors here combine them into one because this thing is five blocks tall and these floors are only three blocks tall so it wouldn't even fit in one of those um pop out these walls and i'm not getting that glass um put bigger windows on so we can see inside better kind of like that but not exactly like that uh, i'm gonna play around with some ideas and see what we can end up with well i mean it accomplishes the goal we had a, a two floor room with a better view both in from the inside and from the outside of everything going on actually this looks this is a nice view Maybe a little bit higher would be nice but otherwise i got the buildings there i'm always cooped up in these windowless rooms and it's it's sad so this is what we're going to be working with um should have plenty of space here and to build the medium microverse projector I guess we have the uh, sneak to place thing. All right, where, where's the sides of everything? So we have power in the back there and the controller's in the front here. So I kind of want to put it against this wall with like one space on each side. There. That should work. All right, let's get some stuff out. Need this, 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 and this. So we got the controller here. Looks like they want uh, item input here. Um, power input, I think, maybe? That seemed to satisfy it. Uh, where's item output? I actually don't see item output on this floor. I'm just going to place all these and say item output's going to come later. Nope, this one's item output. Even though it doesn't look like it at all. There it is. So now we get that, 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 that. We grab the glass. I keep throwing stuff because I'm opening inventories. And we grab the diamond blocks. Cool, cool. That looks like the uh, compressor in the middle. But I have a builder's wand, so. Do it like this. A little bit faster. And compressor. Goes right there. Goes there. And you do it all again. And somewhere there's vents. I haven't had to put the vents down yet. There are the vents. All right. And one, two, three, four. There it is. Media microverse projector. It's very big. <laughs> For being medium. I got a power line here. I got an Emmy line. Um, it looks like output was in the back. So I'll probably have something that takes the output from here and moves it to like something here. So I have easier access to it without having to go into the back. Uh, I have it set up as an LUV, which um, is 3276 EU per tick max. 
sets a hundred like 128,000 RF per tick in maximum. The tier four micro miner needs um, one point uh, fifteen thousand for no matter what you do at fifteen thousand uh, RF per tick, which is fine. That's that's doable. Uh, it's more than these cables can handle. They can only do eight thousand, but it's enough for two of the cables. Just you know, uh, a little bit of a little bit of this and some. Double-sidedness, yeah, that's fine. That'll work. So now let's look at what we actually have to do for this tier four micro miner. Basic guidance system, we've done that. Reinforced mining laser, all right. Capacitor bank, tier three circuits, some solidified argon. It's a bucket, okay. There's gotta be a nice way to do this with like an ME system. So I got all my argon in a tank way over there, right? I don't know um, how to put it, like, say, hey, ME system, move a bucket of argon to this. I don't know how to do that. But I can make that fine. Tungsten steel chests. Ew. Two of them. 16 tungsten steel. Uh, HV field generators. Take quantum eyes and tier 3 circuits. Pretty easy. Signalum microminer engine core. Takes six signalum each. Um, other than that, pretty simple. Big boy alloy smelter. Uh, basic. <laughs> basic reactant dynamo. Easy. Signalum heavy plating. Um, no signalum in these thrusters. Thrusters look actually really easy. That's doable. Well... It better be, because that's where we're for quests right now. Oh, that's slow. Cool. So what's it going to tell me to do? All of the Tier 4 missions require 8 Quantum Flux and a stack of Petrothium Dust. It's the first convenient source of osmium and iridium. Yes. So, a big goal that we kind of are going to need to do real soon because, as you can see by the blast furnace, we need more power, is to upgrade the solar panels. Um, I made another set because I wanted more power, but upgrading the solar panels will, like, quadruple their output or something. Yeah, I think quadruple. No, actually, it might be eight times. Yeah, 1,000, 512 times 2, becomes 8,000. So, octuple the solar panel output, which is ridiculous. Um, the hard thing, osmium plates and these photovoltaic cells take scenarium plates, which take reinforced iridium alloy, which takes 4 iridium and 4 tungsten each. So, to do just one of those rows... Actually, no, I think I did I calculate it for both? No, one of those rows takes 24 of these alloys, which is a stack and a half of tungsten and a stack and a half of iridium. Uh, so getting that stuff would be good. Um, tungsten still is not super easy to come by. I've been making more of it. Um, like I got 227, but we still need more. I might do some more tier 2 or tier 3 missions and then set up some system to just process tungsten, like do all the macerating and all that, just all the way through. Uh, but for right now, it's still by hand. And iridium actually would be a simpler process because I'm pretty sure you just crush up the ore, go into a blast furnace and a freezer.
Ha. Nailed it. I think I have everything. So you get the guidance system at the top front. These, I think, go here? Maybe here. No, here. Laser, chest, field generator, signalum core, dynamo, thrusters here, five down the middle, six on the side. Tier four, micro miner. So along with this, pretty straightforward. We're doing this one. Uh, eight quantum flux and a stack of petrothium. All right, I, I have 57, so I need like 10 more. Um, and the wither realm data, four of it. And quantum flux. Did it say 16? Do I really need 16? I need eight, okay. I don't need to make more. Cool. And it's going to consume uh, 12 million FE, which this, this input holds more than that. So it should not run out of power. Uh, so here we go. We got the miner, the data, the flux, and the fuel. Hopefully I did that right. Power is fine here. Power is a little low here, but not bad. And it's out there in the little tiny microverse, collecting the things. And it's done. We start getting our loot. So with this Iridium, which also gives you platinum, uh, crush it. Uh, if you purify it, then you can provide it for some osmium. All right. Get some osmium there too. Provide it for osmium. That's probably going to be the best bet. Provide it again. You get double platinum with osmium on the side. Yeah, I'll do, do it for the osmium. Uh, and the next step would then be the uh, implosion compressor. And there it is. That easy. Uh, this does take TNT to do things. Uh, if we look at the iridium, the reinforced iridium alloy, it takes four TNT per iridium alloy ingot, which is not sand and gunpowder, is gelled toline and sulfuric acid. Luckily, toline we have. We've been we've had toline for a while because it's a it's one of the things we make here. I uh, haven't had to use it yet, but here we go. Uh, 3,039 buckets of toline. We're good on that front. Here we go. That's relatively uneventful. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's grab these, not the ground. Eight solar panels. Across the top, here, 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 and there becomes 16 solar panels, each producing 2K for 32K RF per tick. And here. Looks like they're not combining. That is correct. So I'm gonna make this all green panels here and at some point in the future we'll upgrade these eight <laughs> Nailed it. it is storing more than is being taken out probably because this uh, cable can't actually take that much power 
Um, I need four connection points, I think. Yeah. Four connection points will allow me to take out all the power. As much as it's producing, no more. Uh, so I will actually add two more. It might be time to upgrade our conduits at some point, even though I just did. <laughs> wow, we're actually getting that much power with the blast furnace running. That's crazy. I'm like, yeah, we're doing pretty good for power, but this is actually power using my most power-hungry machine. <laughs> Dang. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. We got a good amount done. We made the new thing. We used the new thing, and we made some new solar panels, so we should have some more power going forward. The next things I want to do, I want to work on automation of stuff, uh, specifically like tungsten and things because it's still a very manual process. I want to get it working like how I have titanium here, where I just throw whatever in, and it'll just process it all the way through, and I don't have to you know, stand there and baby it by moving things around. Like, uh, if it's finished here, let's throw it into there, and then throw it into there. And I don't want to do that. I just want to throw in the ore and say, make me some titanium and other stuff, but mostly titanium right now. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.